The Beaches Podcast is going to give you everything you want to know about a beach before you go there. I hope you enjoy the show. Be sure to check out our website, www.sandee.com. Without further ado, let's get into the show. All right. So today we're diving into, well, this is a new one, even for us, North Dakota. North Dakota, huh? Yeah, not exactly the first place that comes to mind for, well, beaches. Right. Not unless you're thinking like frozen lakes in January. And speaking of beaches, our listener is interested in, um, and I'm just going to come right out and say it, nude beaches. Okay. Getting right to the point. I like it. Got to keep things interesting. So before we get too far, I did some digging based on what you sent over. And the background info on North Dakota mentions badlands, Native American heritage, and agriculture. Yeah, that tracks. See, to understand North Dakota, you got to picture wide open spaces, rugged landscapes. Like those badlands you mentioned, they're a hint. We're talking about a state with a strong connection to the land, a rich history. It's definitely not your typical beach scene. Okay, so then how does a place like that, with that kind of landscape and vibe, end up with, well, potential for nude beaches? That's the part that kind of threw me for a loop. All right. So here's where North Dakota law gets a little, how should I put this, open to interpretation. Basically, there aren't any specific laws on the books that outright ban nude recreation. It's kind of this legal gray area, which honestly kind of fits with the whole independent spirit of the place. So it's like a live and let live kind of thing. Yeah, you could say that. But, and this is a big but, just because something isn't explicitly illegal doesn't necessarily mean it's welcomed with open arms everywhere you go. Yeah, right, right. right. Respect local customs, do your research, all that good stuff. So let's say, hypothetically speaking, someone IS interested in, you know, exploring the more, shall we say, natural side of North Dakota. What about the practical stuff? Best locations, weather, all that. Okay, so remember those badlands we talked about? They're big clue about the climate. North Dakota has scorching summers and brutally cold winters, like really cold. So not exactly sunbathing weather year round. Not unless you've got a thing for parkas and bikinis, no. (laughs) Realistically, your beach season is going to be pretty limited. If you're looking for milder temperatures, focus on spots near lakes or rivers. They tend to create those little microclimates that might be a tad more comfortable, especially during those few short weeks of summer. So you've really got to pick your moment. All right, last question. What's the one thing about this whole North Dakota beach situation that you find the most interesting? You know, for me, it's a good reminder that travel isn't just about ticking off boxes on a checklist. It's about opening yourself up to the unexpected, experiencing different cultures, and yeah, maybe even challenging your own preconceived notions about a place. Well said. And hey, you might even discover your own definition of the perfect beach along the way, right? Absolutely. So to our listener, if you're intrigued, and I know you are, don't just stop at the beaches or the potential lack thereof. Dive into North Dakota's rich Native American history, explore those breathtaking badlands, and who knows what you might find. Thanks for listening to the show and be sure to tune in next week for your favorite episode about some of the best beaches and beach information in the world.